lifestyles of the rich and famous retired in the, in the, in the beautiful hills of South Carolina. I don't know, I don't know about rich and famous or the famous part, but we're here. We're enjoying life. Above, day above ground's a good day, brother. It is. Well, thank you so much for your time. I think you've um, and hopefully enlightened a lot of people about back in the day that you guys were the, the ground builders, the foundation and the, you know, the inceptors of what we see today in the Stevie Fast Jackson, current defending champion, back-to-back. Uh, -back. Those guys wouldn't have had a playground if it wasn't for you. That's right. And one other thing, uh, out of all the teams I see out there, the guy that won the championship looks like to me he works the hardest on TV. I can't say he does, but I know he works hard. So my hat's off to him. Good luck, Stephen. And that, that has been your key to your success is... That's you, one of them. You, you work, the hardest worker usually wins. Yep. Just whatever it takes. There ain't no... Uh, I had one of the guys, <clears throat> not to make this thing go on a lot longer, I had one of the guys that I go to the racetrack with a little bit around here, an older fellow, and uh, he said that Stevie Jackson kept him up two nights straight at some racetrack back years ago, redoing his motor every night. I said, now that's what it takes to race. So Stevie shows you how. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you.